The reason why I'm in blockchain is because of the potential for social good, right? That really is the reason why I'm here. It's why I wrote the book. There is a lot of use cases for blockchain, so I support all activities and projects and teams working on blockchain and advocating the space, right? This is important that we get a broader adoption across the, you know, the, the economy as well as uh, politicians. Hey folks, Phil here with Blockchain North. I'm here with Lawrence, who just published a book called Cardano Smart Contracts, The Ultimate Book. Uh, so I'd really like to uh, first welcome you and give you maybe a chance to introduce yourself and your work in, let's say, a minute or less. Right. Well, thanks, Flo. Appreciate you being here. Being here. Um, yeah, so I wrote the book. Basically, I've uh, been doing Cardano Smart Contract development for the last three years, and I decided to write a book because there really wasn't a book that was a single resource where a developer knew to Cardano to start. And... Uh, so I've got the book there, and I'm quite excited to be doing the book signing today as well at Future Scoppers. Awesome. That's still coming up. That is going to be at 3 p.m. today. Yeah. Okay, that's great. The interview will be published by then, but yeah. uh, we're going to be talking about the book. So let's talk first of all a little bit about Cardano. Cardano, I feel like, is one of the most established, uh, you know, tokens out there, yeah. uh, probably uh, not so far from, let's say, an Ethereum or a Solana. Um, it's also probably one of the ones that has the strongest community. All right. All right. Yep. How, how would you describe, uh, you know, Cardano like today? And, and it's, let's say, unique. You're right, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so as you well, mentioned, yeah, Cardano's been actually up and running almost seven years. It's never gone down. There's never been any hacks. And this is a testament to the security around the Cardano. And that really is one of the biggest differentiators is that it's written uh, to be extremely secure. Uh, it uses basically high assurance software kind of methodology. It's the stuff you do when you actually write software for airplanes. Okay. So like putting that to a blockchain makes sense when you have high value transactions or very important information on it. So the security paramount is is, is up there and that's a, in itself is a differentiator. Okay. Um, Cardano community is extremely strong. Uh, Cardano army, right? Absolutely. So it's just, I think the reason why that is so many people have resonated with the philosophy and ethos of Cardano, as well as Charles Hostinson. He's got, you know, he's a, you know, a great leader out there. And again, he's just a guy that said, I wanted to do this from the beginning to, you know, create a better society, uh, bank the unbanked. And so those missions, values have resonated. And that's why I think they have a community yeah. today. I interviewed Charles Hoskinson last year, by the way. We'll link All that video uh, in, the, uh, in, in the comments here. But um, so one of the things that struck me with Charles is indeed his, his, his really values-based leadership. Yeah. Uh, I know, for instance, you talked about uh, banking the unbanked. He's spent a lot of time in Africa. Yeah. Can you speak briefly about that? Sort of what, what the mission is? Uh, in terms of banking the unbanked? Yeah, well, so it goes back to Charles Hoskins and like, his TED Talk before he went Cardano was, uh, was the, you know, uh, uh, created, was created. Okay. And um, so there's been a number of initiatives to, you know, ha um, have Cardano be active in the African community. And there are actually hubs, community hubs, um, other projects uh, in Africa. And the adoption is picking up from what I can see. So it's, it's not just obviously exclusive to Africa. All I would say developing countries um, can benefit for being having this uh, you know, inclusive blockchain. Right. Um, so it's it's quite a game changer. There, I, I do also a call out to like places like Argentina, where again there's a lot of adoption there because they've had obviously issues with their currency, and so it's it really appeals to lots of different regions in the world. And in Africa, absolutely, is just one of them. During another interview, I'd love to talk about Argentina, yeah. uh, the new leader there, and Bitcoin, and yeah. But that's uh, probably for another conversation. So, so um, your book is about Cardano smart contracts. Yeah. And, uh, you say here unlocking the full potential of the Cardano blockchain. So, why don't we just do this in two steps? First of all, what is the sort of realized potential? What has Cardano really achieved today? What has been built on Cardano? Who uses it today, and for what? And then we'll talk about that potential that you'd like to see unlock. Right. Okay. Good stuff. Well, Cardano has a very flourishing uh, ecosystem. So there's a big, there's a lot of products and services around DeFi. Um, there's uh, there's basically uh, anything you can think of that's probably on Ethereum exists on Cardano. Um, obviously, the difference between like a Ethereum and a Cardano is really around, um, you know, the liquidity and the, 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 the market capitalization. So that's probably one of your big differentiators there that uh, Cardano, you know, needs to improve its, its liquidity, to grow, basically, to grow. But from a functional perspective, it's got tremendous amounts of interesting applications. It's got like uh, companies like Book.io, which allows you to mint uh, your, your, and your books actually on Cardano, um, they trade NFTs. And this then just drives tons of really interesting use cases around when you trade an NFT, you can fractionalize that NFT, you can have ownership, and that, that where those rights can be then used further for further sales and, and set up royalties. So there, 
I could go on for a long time about all of the things in Cardano, but the space there is very active. Um, and uh, it, those are some of the kind of the highlights, really. So when we talk about unlocking the potential, is it just yeah. about growth, as we said, about liquidity, about volume? So are there other elements? Well, so from a from a developer's perspective, you know, you're looking at whatever creativity they come to bear. And and what this book does is help show how easy it is to create smart contracts. And, and this book, again, is a full solution on how to build decentralized applications. So it really wants to tap into um, developer's creativity. And here's some examples on how you'd actually write smart contracts and decentralized app. And so who is the book for specifically? It is for developers new to Cardano. Okay. And um, it basically gives them everything they need to, to know. It's also, I would say, entrepreneurs may want to be interested in it as well, just to get a little bit more detailed of what is Cardano, what are some of the benefits. And again, it has a lot of really interesting properties. And some of them, again, more the differentiators are around. Um, it has a has a treasury, so it's a self-sustaining treasury. This is makes the blockchain sustainable. So that's a really important part that how are you going to fund development of the blockchain over time? Um, that's when I've already talked to the security piece. And then there's a lot of scalability improvements coming down the pipeline as well. So you can do side chains, et cetera. So are there specific opportunities for Cardano for Canadian developers and Canadian entrepreneurs? Um, I realize we're talking about a decentralized technology. Absolutely. I know that Charles was here. I know that there is a community uh, thriving here in Canada. There is a good base of people here in Canada, right. in Toronto and all to Canada, actually, obviously throughout the world. Yeah. So absolutely. I think there are people and there's talented uh, uh, companies that people can, uh, developers can, can get mentored with. So I would say, yeah, I would reach out to myself. I run the monthly Cardano meetup. That's where Cardano enthusiasts meet. Um, and that would be a great way for people to connect to other Cardano people um, in the ecosystem. Right. And so you're wearing the George Brown College uh, uh, shirt. We know George Petrovich. We know Marty Jour. Yes. Uh, we have students here uh, with decentralized minds. We've been uh, yeah. volunteering and helping us. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the work that George Brown does in the blockchain space? Sure, yeah. So George Brown has a blockchain program. It's basically for graduates or recent graduates or people with work experience to level up their skills for blockchain. And so it's a, basically a year and a half program. So there's two kind of terms and then there's kind of a co-op term. And it really gives you all the skills around uh, building smart contracts as well as understanding, you know, all the terminology and, and systems like DeFi and what, what is consensus algorithms and whatnot. It's more tech focused, but it's, it is a broad program. So if anyone is interested in, you know, getting up their speed on basically blockchain um, to get into the industry, this is a good area because we also have good contacts with the industry players. Mm -hmm. For any uh, techie students, devs out there right now, whether they are already involved in blockchain or if they're maybe just starting their yep. their, their journey, um, what would we say are some of the job opportunities? Uh, in the space. Could you maybe list a few since obviously at George Brown you're preparing people for their career? Exactly. So it, there's there's tons, obviously development's a core one, right? So if you're a developer, you can become a developer, write smart contracts, but there is so many other auxiliary ones as well. So every company needs social media managers, everyone needs community managers, you need marketing, you need events. So there's all these other side areas. I mean, you need to have those knowledge of what a blockchain is so you can talk um, smart about it, but there is all these other opportunities that I see talking to companies that they're looking for. And those are some of the examples. Um, and we see where students today get involved, get their foot in the door in these companies to provide those type of services. It's really interesting to hear a tech expert like you talk about other things like yeah. you know, social media and marketing and sales. And because, of course, yeah, we're talking about businesses at the end of the day. Exactly. Uh, you know, you need that, of course. It's actually vital. So. Uh, any final message? Any final thought? Is there any, anything that you maybe have a, a very high conviction about that you just always like to share whenever you have an opportunity. Well, the reason why I'm in blockchain is because of the potential for social good, right? That really is the reason why I'm here. It's why I wrote the book and I continue to do so. So that's my focus. Um, but there is a lot of use cases for blockchain. So I support all activities and projects and teams working on blockchain and advocating the space. And I think this is great. We're seeing in this conference, uh, like stand with crypto, for example, right? This is important that we get a broader adoption across the, you know, the, the economy as well as uh, politicians. So big fan of that and um, here to support us any way we can. Okay. That's awesome. And obviously read the book, I guess, is the message yes. right here. We'll link to it below in the description. Uh, but for anyone uh, looking to make a career, that's probably a good start. Good. Lawrence, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Flo. Appreciate it. Okay. Cheers.